Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. I'm hope I'm just going to check stuff. Sorry, you're only looking at the sofa, but I want to make sure I'll be in frame. I know it's been months since my last um, crochet chit chat. I think it's been about four months, so apologies for that. But life stuff got in the way. Um, some of you will know that we had a family holiday um, in Melbourne for three weeks, which was absolutely fantastic to have Christmas out there lovely weather yeah so that did a lot of good then unfortunately came back and ended up with a head cold which I thought I got over and then I ended up with a flu virus thing it definitely wasn't a cold it was much more like flu because I just couldn't do any crafting anything like that so it put me out of action for a while and then just life stuff's got in the way, loads of appointments, um, not just for me but for mum, just loads of things going on and having the head cold and the flu things just really done my energy levels in so I'm slowly building my energy up but oh, yeah, not great but anyway, I have, as you can see I have a huge pile of stuff to show that I did um, before the holiday and I did a few bits coming back as well so all of this is already on my Etsy oops sorry I'm dribbling not nice um so right, my hands are covered in this pink stuff I've um got some makeup on holiday and it's a benefit lip tint thing and the bottle just decided to leak all over my hands so I have very pinky hands it won't come off, I've tried everything. I'll have to get some makeup remover on it. But yeah, it's a lovely day out. Um bit not fresh, but you know you need a cardi on. Um so yeah, this is all on my Etsy and I thought I'd better come on and do a crochet video as it's been ages. I do hope this year to keep up with it a bit better, but I'm not gonna guarantee anything. Um, unless I've got something to show or a yarn haul there's no point me doing a crochet video unless I've got something to show because I do so many other crafts and things as you all know um, just trying to think what else oh some of you will know um, unfortunately last year we lost both the cats we lost Dylan a couple of days before my birthday and he got hit by a car, so I know some of you know that. And then Lily, his sister, the 5th of December, so, you know, not much time between them. Um, as a kitten, they found out she had a heart murmur, so she did really well. But when Dylan went, she was just a nervous wreck and it wasn't fair to keep her going. So yeah, the end of last year was a bit pants, so I was glad for the holiday to get away and clear my mind and stuff. So it does feel really lonely in here at the moment with no um, no fur babies. I uh, don't think there's much more... No, I can't think of anything at the moment. Um, so I will get on to the crochet. So this is just a little baby's blanket that I made using I've got to remember now it's so long ago and I haven't got any of the labels for it um James C. Brett fa fairy cakes I'll get the words out fairy cakes so I used two balls um and made sure that the ends were pretty much the same so this is just really soft and cosy and what stitch did I do? I did a half um, treble stitch on this, so just a really cute, lovely blanket. And if it doesn't sell, then I will keep it um, in case any of my friends have a baby. Because even though it's got the blue in, I think you can get away with any colour for a baby. So if it doesn't sell, then I will keep it. And then, of course, I've done a virus show. This is in James C. Brett Marble Chunky. Don't know the colour because, like I said, I haven't kept the um, yarn labels. So, um, I think, how many balls was in this one? I'm just trying to remember now. I think there were three balls in this, so it's slightly larger than how my other ones normally 
turn out. Normally I go across the top and um, do something along the neck bit as I call it but I didn't do it this time because I didn't have, I only had a little bit left over and I know it wouldn't have done what I wanted but I love the virus shawl pattern. I don't know how many I've made of these now, quite a few. I think I'm catching um, Zoe up. Right, I might put these on the floor because I can see if I put them there they will just go everywhere. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still really chesty from my cough and allergies are starting to kick in I think. Let's get this up the right way. And then just a granny shawl. James C. Brett Marble Chunky. Um, I had quite a bit of that because my mum gave me some. Um, which was really kind so she gave me some so this is but this one I brought myself I got it from Franklin's in Salisbury so yeah it's three balls of James C. Brett Marble Chunky I was hoping to get this on before Christmas because I thought it's a nice Christmassy colour but it didn't happen um, yeah so just a simple granny shawl pattern but it's ever so heavy and really cosy so even like this time of year I think it would be nice to um have round your short sh shoulders I can't speak I haven't been drinking I promise um yeah so I think that'd be nice and cosy or if you were going on a cruise or something um uh, yeah last show uh this one's James C. Brett Marble Chunky as well and I use three balls for this and it's just a loopy lacy pattern but it is nice and big so even a you know it do for any size lady because I, I don't like the word extra large and stuff like that I always say cuddly and stuff I mean I'm not a skinny mini and that's not a nice term either but anyway yes yeah, super large really cozy when I was making it and as it got bigger over my lap it was really nice in the evening so yeah like ocean colours as I call it teals and things um, then this isn't on the Etsy shop this is something that I keep so when I send out like my um, paper crafting rack um, can't think now random acts of kindness and stuff I put a few little goodies in these little um purses that i make so i just use like up scraps and leftover bits and make a little purse and put little goodies in there so i like to have a few of these in my stash so if i want to send a little something out to somebody i can put a few little bits in there so this was leftover yarn i think i got it from wool warehouse in the um one of their sales and I thought it was going to be a thicker yarn and a bigger ball. I didn't read it, I just liked the price. So um, I've been using it in different little projects because it wasn't quite what I wanted for... I was going to make a virus shawl with it because I thought it would be nice colours. And there just wasn't enough. So I thought rather than wasting my time, I'll make other things. So yeah, just a little purse. I'll put that there because that's a separate pile. And then I've been using up my scraps and making some doggy blanket you know pet blankets I did try selling these once before on my Etsy and I didn't have much luck there weren't even like many likes on it and stuff like that so I'm just keeping my eye out because I've had a fox in the garden lately which I don't mind because I haven't got the cats there and stuff at the moment but I just thought I saw him but no so um yeah I've been making these scrap blankets and I'm going to give them straight to an animal charity or a charity shop rather than trying to um, sell them because people like um, Jan Carruthers was saying people don't want to seem to pay for want to pay for something that's using up your stash they seem to think oh because it's like leftover bulls it hasn't cost so much but like she was saying we've still brought the yarn it doesn't matter what project it goes into we've still brought it and it's still like our time like this little one okay it only took me a week 
but it's a week of our time. So I think, well, I'm not going to put stuff on there if people aren't going to. I'd rather give it straight to a charity. So there's this small one, um, which I use chunky yarn on and two strands of get that together in a chunky yarn. Um, no, half treble is what I was trying to say. And then I've done exactly the same using up my... Um, using up my DK yarn, so just another little um, pet blanket because we've got the RSPCA not far from me, it's just down the road so when I get a bag full of these then we'll take them down there and um, some animals can have things, they have like the cats and the dogs they have rabbits and other animals but I thought yeah just take them straight down there do my good deed Lastly, okay, it's not a crochet mate, but I thought I'd show it on this video. Um, so I've been watching some sewing videos and watching people make crumb quilts. So that's where you use up your last little bits of fabric. Well, I'm not into quilting and I thought, I bet I could make a bag doing that. So I've got a few different size bags of these already on my Etsy. I've got ones that go across the body and a couple of shoulder bags and this is the larger one and it's I mean I'm not a great sewer so doing something in a scrappy format suits me so it's fully lined I hope you're seeing that so yeah fully lined and shoulder handles actually if I just I won't stand up because otherwise you won't see me but it does sit nicely on the shoulder and then I just went round with some um, ribbon and added that so a great shopper bag or a crochet project bag baby bag so yeah i made another one of these using up some fabric scraps well not scraps but just fabric bits i've had left over so that is what i have <coughs> sorry <coughs> been up to I need another drink trouble is i'm drinking in well you know forever in the little girls room maybe that was too much info but yeah that's pretty much all the stuff I've been doing I am making another one of these little bags because I've got some leftover yarn and I've promised myself I'm not buying any more yarn until I've used up what I've got because um, I have to buy uh, a new printer to go um, with my Cricut maker that a family friends brought me really kind um, well, I had some money and they helped me out getting it. So, um, yeah, I've lost track. So, yeah, I'm making another one of these little purses um, with some scrap yarn. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Um, I had to buy myself a wireless printer to go with this other machine I'm getting. And so, yeah, I'm going to be really good, try my hardest to be really good and not buy stuff until um, I've paid some more off the dreaded credit card sort of thing so yeah next week i should have another little purse to show you um some of my videos will vary in length um and when they will be but i will definitely try to be better this year with my crochet videos <laughs> as i know a lot of you are like oh when are you gonna do one and i kept saying oh, i'll do one and it just didn't happen so just bear with me and I guess I will see you all soon. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thanks to my new subscribers. I have subscribed back to everybody. Really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a nice week. So I will see you all soon. Bye.